What's up guys? It's Wednesday, November 22nd at 1.20 on a little last minute trip. It's been raining, been pretty windy, but it looks like the wind is gonna calm down this evening. It's the day before Thanksgiving, so we're gonna see if we can't get into a couple trout. This is textbook big trout weather. It's rainy, overcast, a slight chop. So we're gonna see if we can't get something done. We're gonna start at the mouth of this creek. Luckily, it's just me out here today. I don't blame them, it's not the prettiest weather. So we're gonna see if we can't get something done. I am hopeful that there will be some some stout trout caught today. If the water was slightly warmer, I'd be chunking a top water around all day, but I don't know, I may change my mind and start tossing one around, but we're just gonna bump the bottom right now. We'll, we'll figure it out. We're gonna throw around some mirror lures. Then we're gonna throw this around, probably gonna throw around some jerk baits, but we're just gonna see if we can't find some fish to bite. I'm confident that we'll get a couple fish. And I'm gonna keep one or two. I wouldn't mind some fresh fish tonight. It's a nice trout. First fish of the day is a stud. <laughs> okay. Oh man, the first fish of the day is a pretty one. And he got every last bit of that bait. He got every last bit of that bait, guys. I hate keeping fish this big, but he's gonna be capped because he is gut hooked. He's probably 20 inches. Yeah, he's 20. Give y'all guys a quick view of him. 20 inch trout. I hate to keep fish that size, but he's gut hooked. No. Look at that. Maybe he won't get capped. He came off relatively easy. It's a nice trout, guys. I thought he was gut hooked, but nah. Good first fish. Great first fish. Good 
He thumped that guy. <laughs> He's doing a washing machine. <laughs> he thumped that bait. He may not keep. If he does keep, he's going home with me. All right. And this guy actually is gut hooked. They are crushing this bait. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> they are crushing it. Will he keep? He's 14. Let me double check. There seems to be some fish over here. <laughs> he thumped it. I think it might be worth it to back off this spot and anchor up a little bit. Yeah, he got every last bit of that bait. When I get it anchored up and situated, I'll turn y'all back on. getting crushed and just not having enough time to react. It's like a quick bite and then it's gone. You can feel them hitting it and then letting it go. Feel like a flounder bite. Exactly what it feels like. Usually, if a trout hits your bait that hard, especially a bait this size, you're gonna get it. Nice trout. It's a good keeper. It's a good eating size fish. What do you think, guys? Yeah, that's a good eating size trout. One 
anything. Crack open a beer after that one. Mm. <laughs> that's number three, and I've missed. And that's number four. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's a big trout. Oh, I feel like I'm fighting a tarpon. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good trout. <laughs> that's a 20 inch trout all day. No, he might not be 20. He's big to say the least. Me out, guys. Beautiful fish. That's number four. You'd have thought I was fighting a tarpon. All right, all right, all right. I need to get quiet. I'm getting too close to this bank, too. <laughs> yeah. Back to back to back. He's not that big, but he feels super heavy. Another beautiful fish. <laughs> He might come home with me. Yeah, you know, I, I like to keep the smaller trout. Yeah. Yeah, this cat's liable to come home with me. You know what, that's a pretty fish. We gonna let this guy go. Boat and it got all turned around. Another boat popped up. What's up with that? It's two o'clock and the boats just start popping up out of nowhere. Let me get another sip after that one. I think that's five. Make it number six. Try to get my trolling brother so they don't get me backed up on this point. That's another nice fish. <laughs> Good keeping size. All right, guys. Looks like I done found some fish. Ooh, ooh, he's biting me. All right, I'm gonna need my pliers for this guy. Let him sit up front. <laughs> yeah. He's coming home with me. He'll go good with some mac and cheese. He sure enough will. <laughs> he sure enough will. All right, guys. Looks like we don't found some fish right here. Caller number seven. Oh, that was a good bite. That was a good fish. <laughs> yeah, 
we're going to anchor up on this spot. Ooh, hit it again. Oh, he hit it again. I won't even move in the bait. <laughs> yeah, there's some fish here, fellas. Oh, man. This is good trout weather. There he goes. Yeah, they're stacked up in this corner. He ain't gonna keep. That's a small guy. A bite and a trout, to say the least. Nonetheless. All right. We're on to something. This is a good fish. Uh, not as nice as I thought, but he's definitely a keeper. All right, well, that was a quick limit, guys. He's a good eating size. He a good eating size fish. Nice fish. And that makes my limit. See if there's any more fish in this corner. There is. Another nice fish. <laughs> There's fish in this corner, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad I came out. I was questioning it. Pretty trout. I'm gonna boat flip this guy. Oh, beautiful fish. Yes, sir. Another nice trout. Let's see if I can get y'all a good view on them. I mean, I reckon all these fish are 16, 17. He might be pushing. He won't let his mouth. He won't open his mouth. He wants the bait. All right, let's see. He is. 17. Oops, I'm sorry. All right, man, cut it out, cut it out. I'll let you go, I just wanna show the camera. Ooh. And of course, I forgot to bring my rag. <laughs> Wind picked up and changed directions. I, I didn't even move the bait, and he was on it. <laughs> I didn't even move the bait. <laughs> he, oh, I thought he popped off. He just he decided to swim towards me. Oh, yeah. This is a nice fish. It sure enough is. Yeah, this guy might go. This is, he might be 18. Let's see. He's healthy. He's fat. He's been eating well. I mean, he got every last bit of that bait. Ah, he's biting me. I'm going to need my pliers on this guy.
you think, guys? It's pretty fish. We done found a good old school of them. Move the pliers up front. Yeah, I didn't even move, move my bait and that guy was on it. Next cast. Yeah, guys. There's a lot of fish here. He's swimming towards me. He doesn't feel like a massive fish, though. Well, he's another nice one. That's a 20 inch trout. If not, he's very close to it. What do you think, guys? Let's see how large this fella is. He is 19. He's right at 19. All right, all right. Pretty trout. Angel, we're right back. Got, got thumped and he came back right. I mean, there are fish. It's every cast, guys. It's every cast, guys. He looked like a rockfish for a second. It's a smaller one. Nice. He's grunting. Nice fish. Wonder how long I can keep this up. I done lost count. And he's up there again. <laughs> is a good bite guys this is a great bite there's boats everywhere now that's odd I guess people are getting off work early nice fish I don't know I don't know I know I'm over 10. Make sure I'm still recording. I am. He got, I got thumped right off the bat. Got thumped again. He's up there. <laughs> it's every cast. This is a nice fish too. This is a nice fish. I'm trying to keep him from doing a washing machine on me. Ooh, this is a nice trout, guys. He's a 1920. He might even go. I don't know. I can't get a great look at him. Oh yeah, beautiful fish. Yeah, that's a 20 inch trout. If not, he's right close to it. Look at that trout right there, guys. If he's not 20, he is very close. He is, if I can get him to lay his tail down, he's right at 19.
These are just as slick. <laughs> Try to get y'all a better view of them. It's, oh my God, it's every cast, guys. If it's not a fish on every cast, it's definitely a bite. Hopefully, this will... This bite will stick around for a little bit longer. Hopefully. But I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take what I can get. Rain's picking up. No problem to me though. Oh, they're crushing it. <laughs> I mean, they're hitting this bait like it owes it lunch money. I mean, come on. You can't ask for a better bite than this. It's nice when you make the sacrifice to come out here too. When it's raining, windy, cold. Bite is starting to thin out. Bite starting to thin out, which is to be expected. After catching them like that, wind's picking up on me too. Mm-hmm. fish he's got some weight to him they're all nice fish it looked like there was one swimming underneath them but i think that was just a reflection on the water i don't know that i wouldn't put it with them in here so tight i wouldn't put it past them quick lease pre-trout all right It is now 2.30. I'm curious how many fish I've caught. I mean, I would imagine it's close to 15, if not more. This wind has picked up big time. Yeah, this wind has picked up big time. The fish don't seem to, they don't seem to care. They don't seem to care. If they don't care, I don't care. <laughs> if they don't care, I don't care. Another nice trout. I 
And this is when having a Minn Kota eye pilot helps. Cause you can just anchor up. It doesn't matter if it's windy or not. It's another nice fish. He's fighting like a big one. Oh yeah, nice fish. <laughs> He's 18, he's 18 to 20. He's in that range. He'll go 20, he's short enough wheel. Oh yeah, look at that trout, guys. Look at that. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I ain't keeping them. <laughs> that seems to happen a lot to me. Yeah, this wind ain't no joke right now. Get a measure on him. He's right at 19. See if I can get a better view of this guy for y'all. Pretty fish. Oh, man, this wind. I mean, it has drastically changed. Yeah, this wind ain't playing no joke right now. Ain't playing no games. As long as it's not thundering and lightning, I'm gonna stay out here. Mm, and there's fish biting like this. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Still hitting. All the smaller fish are males. Got thumped. Got thumped again. Oh, this is a nice one. Fighting another tarpon. <laughs> he ain't doing a washing machine on me. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a nice trout. Yeah, we're going to net this guy. We're gonna net him. You jump right in the boat, why don't you? Oh yeah. It's a nice trout. Whew. He took my bait off. Let me get a quick measurement on that guy. He's stout. He's right at 19. Pretty fish. Oh, <laughs> these fish are slick, man. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. We're letting you go. <laughs> Not the most graceful release, but it is a release. 
quick bait change and we're right back to it. Got thumped. There's a big variety of bait. Oh, he was right at the boat. You know, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen if I throw a jerk bait in this. I would love to catch a trout in a jerk bait. Got my Corrado DC. We're gonna try this little six cents. We're gonna give this a couple casts if we can't get something. Not the best cast, but see what happens. I would love to catch a couple of fish. Oh, got, I got snatched up. Never made sense to me how you throw a bait with three treble hooks and they will sit there and miss it. I'm gonna reel it to get it down towards the bottom. That's where they seem to be. We're just gonna do jerk, jerk. Let it set, reeling the slack. Jerk, jerk, let it sit, reel in the slack. We're gonna get us a couple more casts. If I don't get a bite, we'll go right back to the Ned rig. They don't seem to like this as much as the Ned rig. Reel down and get down to depth. Jerk, jerk, let it sit. Pop, pop, let it sit. And with jerk baits, it's not like a mirror lure or a twitch bait. I like to do aggressive jerks. Because what it end up happening is that bait will do that and it'll sit sideways and it like will sheen a little bit. It'll throw off some shine. And with this, I think it's extremely helpful to have a fast action reel. And I know some people like to throw jerk baits on a little bit heavier, but with me, I want to get the most action out of that bait. All right, we're gonna go right back to the, to the Ned rig. You know what, I'm gonna throw this around for a little bit. Let's see if I just can't catch something, something else. We've got a one eighth ounce, Texas eye and just a little fluke on it. That color is beautiful. If they'll hit the Ned rig, I don't see why they wouldn't hit this. But. All right, I ain't gonna try and reinvent the wheel and fix something that's not broken. We're gonna go right back to that Ned rig. If it ain't broke, don't fix it.
Oh, just got crushed. Bite is dying down a little bit here. This anchor on that trolling motor is holding pretty well. I mean, I may have inched a hair closer to the bank, but nothing to be upset about. Nothing to scare these fish off. All right, we're gonna go a couple of feet over to the left. Hopefully there's not any hangups right there. Mm, got a good bite. We're just going to kind of fan cast this area for a little bit just to see if these fish have slightly moved over, which is very possible. Rain's back. Yep, this bite has eased right on up. It was hot, honestly, for about 30 minutes. You can't ask for any more. I am not upset in the least bit. Especially with nasty conditions like this, I've always had my best days fishing in nasty conditions. It's a little baby guy. We might just be able to get him right up into the hand. Small little trout. Mm -hmm. Seems like the wind's kind of dying down a little bit. There's just these little storm sails. If you look at the radar, I mean, it's just patches all over the place.
I was getting ready to say I want to move, but I don't know if there's much reason to. Nice trout. I'm gonna boat flip this guy. Oh yeah, that's a nice trout. It's another 18 inch trout. Make this easy on each other. What do you think, fellas? Whew. Sun's starting to come out, wind's starting to die down. These fish may want to hit something completely. That's what I was scared of. Uh -huh. But I honestly think that's just because I've caught them all. I don't know, probably 20. Let's see if I can show you one. Yeah, bite's definitely slowed down. I think I've just called them all, to be honest, though. Like 20? I, I've got four in the boat. I've got four in the boat. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, yep, this is a nice one. Oh, I got my citation. No, it's redfish, that's why. Yeah. What kind of 16 inch drum? No. Nah. He's probably about 12. I thought I had a citation. Oh yeah. Thank you. 
another nice trout. Sixteen. All right, I'm gonna do one more cast and then get back to this video. Do another cast. Hey, look, put the mojo on him. Get, get a 20 uh, inch trout. That'd be nice. Alright, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Alright. So it seems like that school dried on up. So we're gonna see if we can't come across another one. Maybe they've moved over a little bit. Well, that seems to be the case. Seems like they've moved. It's a smaller trout. It's still a nice one. Nice fish. All right. Hey, we get on another school. I don't know. Seems like we don't found another school. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna anchor right on up over here. Another pretty fish. If 
you open your mouth, it'd be easier for the, the both of us. Nice try, guys. Let me change baits real quick and I'll get y'all back on. I've picked up on another school, how to change baits, went back at it. Yep, we found some more. All we had to do was scoot over a couple feet. It's a nice trout. Oh, right a quick release, right at the boat. <laughs> crazy how drastically this weather's changing. Sun's starting to show itself, so I think this, I think we're gonna be good for a little bit. This 313. out here going on two hours and I don't know I mean I would assume I've caught 20 I'm not exactly sure though if not it's extremely close to it I am covered in fish slime right now. Pulled up to a new spot further down this bank. The wind, I mean the wind's completely cut out around here, so that's a good sign. A little too far off the bank, but we're gonna we're gonna inch up closer to it. Nice trout right at the boat. Well, that's a good sign. He was right at the boat. good sign. It's a nice fish too. It's a nice trout too. Mm, he don't like that. I don't blame him though. Alright. New spot. More fish. Let's keep it going.
Go home, clean those fish, go to my buddy's house, fry them up, throw something on the grill, come out and do it again tomorrow. And surprisingly, the water is not nearly as cold as I thought or think it should be. But I guess we've had some warmer days. He's up there. That was a subtle bite. It was a very subtle bite. Oh, nice trout on the washing machine. Oh yeah, pretty trout. Mm -hmm. Oh, that ain't good. He got every last bit of that bait. We're gonna need pliers for this guy. I think he's gonna be fine though. Let's go ahead and grab that. Nice fish. Got him in the gills a little bit, but I think he'll be just fine. Yeah. Now that water's plenty cold. You know, I didn't have the best fall, fall trips, but this, I mean, this, this early winter, late fall has, it's made up for it. I don't think I've gone fishing the past three or four times and haven't caught at least, at least 15 fish. I mean, They've come in strong. There's been no shortage of bait. There's been no shortage of fish. It's been flounder, redfish, and a plethora of trout. See, just super subtle bites. I mean, just as subtle as can be. <clears throat> Pretty fish. Just as subtle. I mean, you don't pay attention for a second and you miss that bite. moving ain't he looks similar to my boat got a bigger motor on it like a 50 or 75 or something Mm. He's 
ਜਾਓ ਸਰੋਨਾ